Hey everyone, and welcome back to Amne er, Amnesia, Penumbra Necrologue, a mod for Amnesia, but not Amnesia itself. As always, we are gaming by gaslight. We're kind of wandering around in here. We the last time turned off something, a vent of some kind. I believe we've already been in here, haven't we? Yeah, this is where we found the cloth. And that's where we came in. That door is disturbingly open. Okay. Easy does it now. No sign. No sign of any trouble. Let's just put that there and hope no trouble comes through that door. Terms of use for refrigeration equipment. Okay. Please don't let there be anything in here. I assume that turned off the, uh, kind of busted a pipe from before. Yep. In we go. Ah, oh, yes, freezer. Excellent. Yeah, here we go. Then my nose is kind of itchy again. Why is my nose always itchy? Oh. Okay, we've made it to a new area. What the heck was that? Hey there, dead guy. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, I don't want to go over there just yet. Also, I feel like we're probably back in an area where crawling is... or crouching, kind of sneaking around is the wise... Ch What's wrong with my mouse? Yeah, apparently my... I have a wireless mouse and the battery does not seem to li last very long. Nil Oswald. Smells like hell here. Okay. Wonder what killed him. Hmm. I I know we're back into areas that were from Black Plague, so can't remember if we would have passed here before. It's collapsed. Good, which means nothing should come through that door. There's just something through that door. Ooh, poker tour. Okay. Some happy people there, some landscapes, some notes, really bright. Uh, today's lunch, keep the unpure out. I assume that would be the infected -y types. Ooh, a button. You can now enter the safe area. Yay! It's a safe area, which means we should be safe. <laughs> Okay, never one of these, which we may- ooh, a lever. Okay, the lever goes to that, so we know we're definitely gonna have to put a fuse or a battery or something in there. We also still have this sphere. I wonder how, uh, choosing to pick up that sphere might have changed things. Of course, who knows, the game might have forced us to pick it up if we didn't find it on our own. Also, wait a minute. Amabel, this is Julia Kwan a member of the rescue group. I think now, when the whole group is dead, there's no reason to hide who we really are. Someone actually sent a message about the critical situation at the station, though his identity is unknown to us. We were hired by the Archaic Cats, who had organized the whole project and built the station. We knew the exact number of survivors. It was you, Amabel. The person who sent the letter and two other people whose identities were unknown. Also, after you mentioned Philip, he, like you, became the target of our search. The cast said that you had the most accurate information about what had happened, and after questioning, you would be released, that they would compensate the moral damage. But when I began to participate in the operation, I realized that nothing could await me from them. Everything that happened in the station should be kept secret. These are the words of one of the members of the cast. We settled in the main core of the station. Our plan was to detect signs of life on the station, watch the surveillance monitors, and eventually provide the information to the Archaic. However, our plans quickly failed. We were studying the plans of the station when we suddenly heard a strange humming noise. For some time it was moving below us, but then suddenly a gigantic worm burst into the room through the wall. I managed 
managed to escape and hide in the mess hall, but the rest of us were less fortunate. They tried to shoot at us. Just them all. In general, our entire group is now dead. Except for me. I'm afraid that now... No! Oh god. Nice going, Philip. Oh no! Failure once again! What a pity! Our monkey fit is like a magnet dragging into the grave every person he rests his hopes on. Strange that she didn't have any keys which would certainly have helped you in the future. And there isn't even a cheese sandwich here. Okay, so that was one of the worm monsters. God, I hate it, those things. Nothing to say, there's just an arm. Can we actually wander on in there? We cannot. Wait, we can, sort of. No, I don't want to actually go down there. We do not want to mess with the worms. Ooh, a safe point. Those people, they've almost lost all hope. If only I could help them. Also, I didn't really hear any voices there. What's going on? Hmm. Wait a tick. Now, something about keys. Could I... Could I uh, grab her arm? Her poor... Torn away... Looking kind of stretchy arm. Hmm. Wait, there's a backpack. Batteries, matches, and a handful of pills. Oh, I took the cloth with me. Um, can I, uh, grab her arm? No? Hmm. Well. So. I don't see anything that looks like it could help us, so I'm guessing that's it. And off we go, I suppose. Ah, some tool. That's not it. Okay. Now, didn't we see something lying around on the floor around here somewhere? Aha! That might have taken a while. In fact, I don't think I was saying anything this whole time, so I'm probably going to cut out that stretch of silence. Excellent. Forward march! I had mixed feelings. On the one hand, I've lost a friend. On the other hand, an enemy. At such moments, I want to hear a close friend's words of advice. I remembered Red. I never understood how I could hear his voice and whether I could hear it whenever I want it. What is his goal after all? Well, Red's dead, Phil. Y you stuck him in an oven. I mean, y you don't really survive after Attention that. Attention to the personnel. We would like to remind you that every Friday night is dedicated to the roundtable meeting. The meeting of employees with status code B will be held in the main center of the station at 6.30 p.m. Let's go there. Perhaps it's gonna be a cool party there with cocktails and sandwiches. Mm. Aren't you hungry? A little. Thanks for your concern, uh, Clarence. But, uh... I'm also quite concerned about dying. I'd rather not do that. Also, was, uh, Phil's... Philip's, uh, kind of monologue there as we were passing through that last door. Was Amabel killed? Or was it just, uh, the rescue woman? I'm not quite sure. It's also quite dark in here. Oh, there's a save point, at least. And a door. Though, if- if Red is actually back from the dead, that would be awesome. I'm also glad we haven't had to use these painkillers too much. Also, let's top up on our batteries. Like so. Oh. 
Boo. Cyclones. Locked, locked. I'm assuming the locked ones are just so that we don't waste all our time looking. And some package. And nothing. What's all this? Newspaper scraps, mostly about sports. I guess that makes sense. People need interesting things to read, and who doesn't like sports? Now and then. Not much of a sportsman myself, I'll admit, but... You know, I can appreciate the, uh... The fact there are people out there who do enjoy them. Let's see, various documents. All of them one way or another related to the supply of provisions and equipment for the station. And once again, I am reminded that I'm breaking my sort of guideline I put to myself of how I wouldn't go through every single drawer in this Let's Play, but I, I can't help it. I'm obsessive about finding things, and we've already... We're already missing one of the uh, cassette tapes that we could have listened to. And I am determined not to miss anything else. Hopefully. Ah, there's the voices. I missed you, so... Of course it's not gonna work. Clicky click. Okay, let's all hope there's no monsters down here. I know, I hope there's no monsters. But I do enjoy that about this, how I... Okay. I suppose you need some kind of power source? Or something. Well, I guess let's say, uh, let's just keep going. So. Uh... Oh, hello. Oh. Notes. Or oh, wait, to do list. I stumbled upon the laser protection, but getting past it won't be easy. Maybe there's a switch somewhere. Oh, wait. Because I did hit this an even number of times, so that might have. I mean, there's not really that many places for something like this to be, so... Oh. Okay. Okay, what about this one? Why why won't this one uh pull down? That seems to be the problem here. And that won't go back up. This won't go back up. Oh wait, wait, wait. This was some kind of muscle relaxant, no. Oh. Okay. Oh, I get it! That's to help create the circuit. I gotcha. Oh, let's see. Why do I keep singing that? Oh, we've got power back, so that's... That's a good sign, probably. Oh. Oh! Amabel! Is that you? Yes! Jesus, finally. Looks like from now on we can only count on ourselves. Shayla, the last member of the expedition, is dead now. She wasn't just a rescuer, but an employee of the archaic caste. When we meet, I'll tell you everything I've learned. However strange it may sound, maybe it's better that it happened after all. 
I hope that at least you're alright for now. Actually, I'm not as far away as you think. Now, you need to get to the surface. Just go straight ahead. You'll recognize the exit by a noticeable rise up. Then head to the elevator. When you're up, you'll see the bridges that lead right to me. I'm inside the meteorological center. The door to it will be in front of you after you get out. On the right will be the main core of the shelter station, and on the left, the hangars. But it doesn't really matter. I'll meet you there. See you. Oh, Amabel, I am so... Oh, I forget how that works. What, what key do I press to trigger thingies? We're gonna have to read the notes, it's been a while. Uh, notes on operating computers. There we are. Computers for dummies. WNS. Oh, left click. Why didn't I try that? That's so. Oop. Holy crap, how did our battery drain that much? Jeez. Excellent. Jolly good. Jolly good. I think you've already thought to yourself the same thing that I have. What will be the outcome? Will you meet each other? Even if you meet, will she be alive? The end is close and the excitement increases. It amuses me. But I would not recommend you to relax yet. Alright, companion slug. Let's roll. You know, this is not a rise up. This is a, a fall down. Uh, sorry slug. Okay, we're going down. Actually, I, I'm sorry, Slug. You're kind of heavy and unwieldy in my hand somehow. Let's hope that giant slug, worm, monster thing. It's basically a graboid from Tremors. If you're familiar with that, that movie was on earlier today for some reason, and it's now in my head. Man, these guys set up a lot of explosives. They sure did love their explosives. Boom. Kick the door open. Because I don't do anything half assed. Can I, uh. No? Can't quite see what's going on in there. And I can't move the crate. We could climb up there, but let's let's just wander around down here first. Just to make sure. Small generator, looks new. We have a door. Won't open. Hopefully that's for the best. Uh, what's this? Completely sealed, no way I'd ever get it open, so I Ah, oh, I gotcha. It is pretty heavy. So oh, I'm getting a thought in my head on what we might be supposed to do here. What we might be supposed Good good grammar there. Oh nice! That was not at all how I was expecting things to go down, but hey. Oh, there's a weapons crate, full of weapons and ammunition. Or, ammunition. Why are there no guns? Who took all the guns? Honestly. But, uh, yeah. And why are there so many slugs? Is red... Is red around here? Oh my god, that slug's alive. You know, that's a good point, Phil, but... Since we're in a safe haven, I think before we go into the spooky vent, we're gonna wrap things up here, and we mu we must be coming close to the end, so that's a good thing, I suppose, as long as we don't die. I look forward to meeting Amabel. It'll have it'll be a thank God we're alive moment. All right, but for now, thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Your support really does mean a lot, and. I will see you all in the next video.